Good afternoon. It is March the 3rd, 2017, and time to recap our trading for today and take a look at um, the weekend. What's going to happen in Globex Sunday night? Start with the usual disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Okay, probably the best thing we did in the E-mini today, um, and we didn't think we'd have much of a day, was just we had a sell 79 to 81, then 84, 86, and we had a buy 73 to 75. So basically this 75 area plus or minus is where we expected support and we had resistance at 80 and we thought that yelling speech would hold us in check. Couple of monkey trades here produced. Couple of mean green, green trades produced. A buy, small winner. Then yelling speaks. And we got a scratch here and we got a scratch there and, and that's the last trade of the day. So there were uh, five trades that produced, six trades that produced money. And wasn't a big day, uh, but it was a profitable day. Uh, nowhere near to what crude and um, the note threw off. Not note, gold. Damn. <coughs> Tell you what, about time to shut this show down and get in tongue-tied. Okay, on the E-mini, lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it. Come Sunday night. The F2 screen, definitely leaning P, so we have split information. My inclination would be to be long. I mean, we've had a couple of days of trying to bust the market, and we haven't. Um, we're 25 points off the high, so that, that would make some sense. Uh, but resistance is 84, 86, sell 1, and then 89, 91, sell 2. We have factory orders on uh, Monday. Last reported at plus 1.3. I don't have a swag for factory orders for Monday morning. We'll have that when we come in. On the buy side, uh, 75, 77, buy 1. And 70, 72, buy 2. Okay, looking at the note, a little end of the week short covering. Uh, treasuries are still in the sell mode. Lower high, lower low. Pretty clean break in the market here at 123.20. F1 says find a place to sell it. And F2 had a B. Yellen speaks an I period and end of the week short covering took us higher. So, first sell zone is going to be 20 to 24, sell 1, 27, 31, sell 2. On the buy side, 9 to 13. Bust that, I think we're headed to the buck, so 1 to 5 would be buy 2. Janet's key phrase was, if business conditions warrant, the labor market's improving, business activities improving, an interest rate right bump would be appropriate. So we have a couple of weeks of economic news coming. Not a couple of weeks. Uh, we've got uh, non-farm payrolls this Friday, and we'll have, I think we should have retail sales and industrial production by then, too. Man, got a terminal case of the yawns here. That's not good. Okay, 12, 16, number one. Sell 19s to 23s on the bond. 27 to 31, sell two. On the buy side, uh, the buck to 04 is support. 
We'll make it uh, 21, 25 by 1. Markets. Uh, I, th I think the markets uh, still got a sell left in it. And then 9 to 13 for buy 2.